everyone, I am Living Food Chef Chaya Rivka from thelivingvision.com here with Living Tree Community Foods to create another uh, fun recipe for you guys to enjoy. Today's recipe is going to be a um, blondie haystack. So we're going to be using lucuma powder, which is a fruit um, from uh, down south, South America, I think Peru, um, and it's actually one of the most popular flavors, I believe the most popular flavor for ice cream down there. It's uh, slightly sweet um, and has a, a similar flavor to um, caramel. So it's going to be like a caramel blondie haystack. Um, it's pretty easy and uh, what we're going to start with is some uh, coconut oil that is not melted. I just used a spoon and scraped it and softened it with the spoon um, and then we're going to put it into our food processor. And the reason that um, I didn't turn it all the way into an oil is because when I process my oil with my honey um, it will sometimes um, not come together completely. So uh, if it's a butter still or um, thick, it has a tendency to stay creamy. And so now I'm adding a quarter cup of cacao butter. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's her diet in the background. Hi, my darling. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so there's a quarter cup of cacao butter. Try and get all of that in there. Thank you, honey. I need that. And then we're going to add um, just a little bit of honey. Sweetie pie. No, darling. We're going to add about three tablespoons of honey. Okay, sweetie. So this is two tablespoons. And we'll add another half. There we go. Yeah. And then we're also going to add a little bit of vanilla powder to it. And what we want is about a teaspoon of the vanilla powder. It should be about a teaspoon. And then we also want to add a little bit of salt because salt helps to bring all of those flavors together and opens up your palate. Um, so what I'm gonna do is about half a teaspoon of salt. Now I just wanna get all of these ingredients really creamy. So what I'm gonna do is get this uh, machine going and just let it go um, until all your ingredients have come together. I didn't mention, but on that cacao butter, you don't want it to be completely melted, so you can actually just shave it down and measure out your quarter cup as a shave down um, measurement. Measure a quarter cup of shaved cacao butter and then put it all in here. Um, turn your machine on and just let it process. Okay, so our mixture is nice and creamy now. There is no pieces of cacao butter left in there, um, no uh, coconut. It's just all well emulsified, a nice cream and you can see the vanilla specks in there. I didn't mention before that in um, preparing your, coconut, uh, your cacao butter, we're not melting it down. So you just wanna chop that into small pieces or shave it down and measure it out in your quarter cup as a dry measurement. And then put all of your um, cacao butter and coconut oil, vanilla and salt and honey in your food processor and let that go and it will become a cream. It might take it's cold uh, three to five minutes um, and if it's warm it'll go pretty quickly so now that that's creamed up we're going to leave that to the side and um, I am going to bring forward all of my dry ingredients and we'll mix these together so in this bowl I have um, six tablespoons of lucuma powder and it smells just delicious mm -hmm. And I want to make sure I mention that all of these ingredients you can find at livingtreecommunity.com. So um, I have my lucuma powder. I'm going to be adding to it a cup and a half of coconut chips. These are the large coconut flakes. I also have about a half a cup of Brazil nuts that I chopped mm -hmm. by hand. 
And that's really chunky. You can chop it smaller if you like, but I like the texture in mm. these um, haystacks. And I'm adding some hemp seeds. Mm -hmm. Throwing a nice boost of essential fatty acids and mm -hmm. protein. Mm -hmm. And I'm also adding some goji berries. Um, if you prefer to chop your goji berries, feel free to chop them. I'm putting these in whole, and that's about a third of a cup. Okay, and alrighty, so I have all of my dry ingredients. I just put in those goji berries. Let's mix those up and just get everything so it's all incorporated to mm -hmm. itself. Get that leucuma powder and those hemp seeds and the goji berries and everything just really as equally incorporated as possible. Now what I'm gonna do is add um, some almond butter. It's about six tablespoons of almond butter. And to that I'll also add my uh, coconut and cacao cream. Okay. And the reason I didn't put the almond butter in with the coconut butter and the cacao butter is because I've had the experience of um, different nut butters breaking when I add them in the food processor at a certain time. So I just prefer mixing it in separately. And breaking means the oil separates and doesn't um, reincorporate to the rest of the uh, mass of the substance. So it doesn't always happen and I haven't quite figured that one out, but it works for me just to mix them in separately. Okay, so there's our oils. Now what we want to do is mix this all together so it's completely combined. We want to make sure that we're getting that almond butter broken up. And just get everything evenly distributed and combined. It'll become nice and thick. It looks similar to cookie dough as you're doing that. But the texture when it's done is more like a candy. <laughs> and you see I only put three tablespoons of honey in there. That's because the leucuma powder is also sweet. And um, it's not a very super sweet dessert or confection, um, but I like that about it. However, if you prefer, the people you're making it prefer a sweeter treat, then you might want to use a quarter cup of honey or even five tablespoons. But uh, a, good, a good safe way to go is to start less and then you can add more if you feel it needs more. Okay, that looks very well incorporated. And now what you want to do is use a tablespoon or I'm going to use my um, ice cream scoop and also uh, you can use a cookie tray with a wax paper on it or um, you can use a plastic cutting board or um, a Teflex sheet but you just want to scoop out uh, about a tablespoon to two tablespoons this is a two tablespoon scoop um, mound Okay, and you'll just complete that with the entire batch. It'll make between 20 and 30 um, haystacks. Then what you'll do is you'll take this and you can stick it straight into the freezer um, and they'll get hard very quickly or you can stick them in the refrigerator and they'll also get hard pretty quickly but more like 20 minutes um, and in the freezer it'll happen in about 10. They're delicious. You do have to store them in your fridge or freezer unless it's really cold in your house. Um, because they will uh, melt at a certain temperature. 
um, and they'll also um, stay uh, more fresh if you keep them refrigerated or even in the freezer uh, in an airtight container if, you're, if you want to store them for a long time and just pull one out every once in a while. So there are our Blondie Haystacks. Again, I am Living Food Chef Chai Rivka from thelivingvision.com here with Living Tree Community Foods. We thank you for joining us and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.